Criminals so evil they will die in jail. Murderer and rapist Wayne Cousins, serial killer Rosemary West and Levi Belfield, whose victims included schoolgirl Millie Dowler. There are around 70 prisoners like them who will never be released. And in each case it was a decision made by the Home Secretary at the time, or more recently a judge. But now the law is to be changed so that whole life orders will be the only option for the most depraved individuals. It's the sign of a government showing it's tough on crime in the wake of Lucy Letby's horrific offences. The nurse sentenced on Monday to a lifetime inside after murdering seven babies and attempting to kill six others. The Prime Minister said, I have shared the public's horror at the cruelty of crimes we've seen recently. People rightly expect that in the most serious cases there should be a guarantee that life will mean life. They expect honesty in sentencing. By bringing in mandatory whole life orders for the heinous criminals who commit the most horrific types of murder, we will make sure they never walk free. Any killing involving sexual or sadistic conduct would be included, except in what's described as extremely limited circumstances. It's prompted concern. The whole life order is obviously very draconian. It, it, it offers no scope for eventual release and rehabilitation, even after 50 years, or even if somebody may be very close to death. And on the whole, our penal system has always kept within it the principle that it is possible to be rehabilitated. In any event, if somebody remains a risk, even without a whole life order, the reality is at the moment they're not going to be released anyway. The law change would see the likes of Jordan McSweeney spend his entire life inside for murdering and sexually assaulting law graduate Zara Alina rather than his 38-year minimum term. As would Kuchi Selamaj, the man who murdered teacher Sabina Nessa in south-east London. Instead, he faces at least 36 years in prison. There's no punishment more severe than a whole life order, and soon those caught after committing the most dreadful of crimes will know they'll never see freedom again. Emma Birchley, Sky News.